morning friends and welcome to another vlog. It is now Tuesday now. I have a few things to do. I have a collaboration with a re really well-known company and I'm very excited about it. Basically for this week, because the deadline is on Thursday, I think I'm gonna have to email them, let them know that my vlog is going up on Thursday. They want 30 to 60 seconds talking about the brand at the start of my weekly vlog or my daily vlog or whatever vlog I'm putting up and they want pre-approval before it goes live. So today I'm gonna to be filming, I finished fil finish editing all the footage for the daily vlog, um, which I'm really stoked with. It's got my new intro and everything in it. I've gotta film that, I've gotta edit it, send it for approval, and then pop it on the start of my vlog, and then schedule it to be uploaded on Thursday. I've gotta do a workout, I've gotta to go to the doctors. I'm gonna book an appointment to go see the doctors to get a referral for an ultrasound. The last week, one of my breasts has been feeling really sore only when I knock it or like if I press hard on it or one of the dogs leans up on my chest area or something like that. Um, so I just want to make sure everything's all good. I can't feel like any lumps or anything like that, but I do have to be completely transparent with you guys. I do have breast implants that I got when I was 25. 25? Had them for a while now. Wait, was it 25? I can't remember. About 25 or 26. I know that they're probably almost seven or eight years old. I'm gonna make sure everything's okay. I think I'm gonna go to my local one because there's an x-ray place attached to the center. So hopefully they can get me in either today or just sometime this week. That would be great. So I've got to do that also. I do have to go to the corner store and grab some bread rolls, a few knickknacks for the house because we're slowly running out of food. I did a grocery shop maybe like last week or the week before. So our food has like stretched pretty far. Um, but yeah, that's how my day's looking. What do you reckon, boss? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna get out of my woody, put my gym clothes on and do a workout. If you're a male viewer of mine and you're just not interested in this conversation about breast screening or anything like that, please just click off this video or skip ahead. I have just spent the last half an hour ringing clinic after clinic here on the Gold Coast. I have no words. Like, I'm just trying to get something checked out to make sure it's not more than what it is and i always thought that breast screening or getting stuff like that checked out was free like an ultrasound or a, or anything like that i just rung like several clinics only to find out that even if i get a referral from my gp at most x-ray places like radiology places it's like a gap of up to $200 through Medicare just to get an ultrasound or a sonogram or anything like that. And I, I know I don't fit the criteria for a sonogram, but she was saying basically based on my age, my health, whether I have any family history of breast cancer or anything like that. It's just so many factors. Like I was like, what the hell? I just want to get an ultrasound to make sure everything's okay. A, it could be my period. B, it could be nothing, just my hormones and my glands like swelling up and you know, causing me grief. C, it could be a lump, which I am worried about. D, my implant could have ruptured. And that's what I'm super worried about. Like both last two options are really worrying. I don't want any of those things. I just want, you know, to check it out and make sure that I'm okay. I can't believe that women are still getting charged an excess in Medicare for a basic human right. Like <laughs> when she said, oh, they may be a Medicare excess or might pay and then get a rebate. And I was like, oh yeah, cool. How much will that be? And she was like $200. And I was like, the rebate. And she was like, no, the excess fee. I was like, what? I found out that through another clinic of another clinic that referred me to that clinic. 
I can thank God for women having each other's backs. Like she was actually like, yeah, I know it's embarrassing that we're not doing this for free. She referred me to another doctor who can refer me to a radiologist who do have female staff on that can do an ultrasound. And then they'll let me know whether they, where, whether or not they want to do a biopsy and then refer it to the hospital to look further into it. So that was really nice of her. They're going to fit me in at 9.20 tomorrow morning. There's no female doctors on today. They're completely booked up anyway. So... I was just like, okay, I can wait one day. Like, that'll be fine. At least it'll be done this week. Like, I just feel, yeah. I just couldn't believe it. Anyone else out there, like, dealing with this sort of drama? Because I honestly thought it was the smallest little thing. Like, I'll just call up the doctors and get a referral and get a free ultrasound. Like, no biggie. Obviously, it's a biggie. Anyway... Since I'm not going to the doctors today, I need to get a load of washing done. I'm gonna do those projects today. I was gonna paint those pots that I bought, this one, and that one over there. I might leave the one up at the front door gray just because it kind of matches the other pot up there. Then I want to take this down. I have another painting upstairs in our hallway. Like as soon as you walk in, it's like really pretty. Not that this one isn't, it's stunning. Also, Sadie, beautiful. Um, but I have this little project in mind and it sounds crazy, but I told Jamie about it and he was like, go for it. But basically it's a canvas like this. I want to rip the canvas <laughs> off the frame that it's on, like take all the staples out, everything, divide it into three and put them all in frames like this. But I want to cut them so that there's like some sort of white border around them. And then I'm gonna put them all back up on the wall there. I just think it's gonna look really cute. It's great. Yeah, it's <laughs> was the only seascape Rembrandt ever painted. Somebody. I would have just taken some hundred dollar a month shithole, but... stoked with how that turned out so happy it honestly like does match like we've got those ones over there the same sort of style then there's these ones and i love like how it's all beachy and then i've got this one over here um, so now i'm gonna go have a shower i'm gonna have another coffee i think or maybe just make myself a little drink have a little snack and then i'm gonna go film my collaboration for udi i do want to do some research just to, i have done a lot of research before i even went into a collaboration with them but i want to quickly just make sure i've got everything i need to know and note it all down from the brand things that i love about the brand what i know about the brand what the brand has given me to say about the brand and any discount codes or any sort of um, sales that may be happening right now that I can mention in my video any links that I can pop in my description box below so so exciting we'll most likely see it way before this even comes out this vlog that I'm filming right now but yeah that is what I'm gonna do so I might just cut up an orange and have some water and then go have a shower and get ready Hey guys, hey guys, welcome all back to another vlog. Hey guys, welcome back all to another vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, welcome to this. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're already already a subscriber, welcome back. My name is Jodie and I just, oh my gosh. To the sponsor of this portion of the video. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome to, hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. think they're the best thing known to man and yeah on with the vlog right so I finished up filming Ooh. and I've just gone down to the corner store to get some food I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul but before I do that I think I'll feed the dogs because they're getting a bit antsy Okay, 
I will just quickly run through everything I got with you guys. So we got some bread rolls, some Coca-Cola for Jamie, cappuccino sachets because we ran out this morning, some breakfast muesli because I ran out two days ago and I'm dying without it. Like I need breakfast. Dentist sticks for the dogs, smooth peanut butter for Jamie. Kit Kat, milk chocolate bar, snakes alive, tomatoes to make burgers with. We got a ball of lettuce and a barbecue meat lovers pizza. That is pretty much everything I got from the spa. Um, when I say the spa, I mean the S-P-A-R, like the corner store spa. We just got home before and Jamie's told me he wants to go to Bunnings because we have a plant that one of our neighbors was chucking out. And as you guys know, I have these pots free, so um, I think we're gonna go and have a look at some other pots and he wants to grab a few things for our trip this weekend. So yeah, I guess we're going to Bunnings. So we just got home from Bunnings, literally picked up a plant already at Bunnings on the side of the road in our street. Not that. Had to get that for camping. <laughs> Two more plants that we found on the side of the road. What can we do? We're plant owners now. We're plant parents, aren't we? Parent plants, plant parents. Is that even in focus? Oh God. It is so much later. So me and Jamie got back from Bunnings and we did pick up another plant. We went there for a little washer nut bolt thingy majiggy and they didn't have the size that Jamie was after and the one that had like a particular thread on it that like hooks itself on so it stays secured. I don't know all the terminologies for these so don't come for me. I was like okay well while you look here I'm going to the plant section. I went and had a look at the other plants and we found another one. It's kind of a bit different to the style of other plants that we have in the house but I love that we have like a whole range of you know, greenery going on. And on the way home, he was like, this month alone, I think I've spent $180 on plants for you in the house. And I said, don't you like our plant family? And he was like, like, they're our little plant babies, our little children. It's like, babe, we don't have kids. Um, So here I am at work. It is now 10 past 12 only been working for about three hours and I made $70. Chilling out my car. Everyone has been pretty sweet so far. Haven't had any issues or delays. The only real order that I had to wait a long time for was a Guzman and Gomez order, but they really like, they ordered a lot. Did wait a bit for that. I think it was like 15 minutes, but it actually wasn't that bad. I ended up getting all my filming done. I feel like, I don't know. I felt like I had to catch up with you guys on heaps of stuff, but I don't know what's going on. I would give you guys the little catch up. It's getting pretty quiet now. I haven't had a run for about 15 minutes. So I'm thinking about calling it quits and going in for the night. I did want to get a head start on my editing if I'm going to be too tired. I feel wide awake right now, but I do need to charge my laptop, so I know that I'm gonna have to go into the office room, get home, and I'll put my laptop on charge so that at least it's charged overnight. Um, but I know that first things first in the morning, I'm gonna have to get up, go for a walk on the treadmill, feed the dogs, and then I'm gonna have to go to the doctors to get that referral for someone to look at this, and then even then, I might not be able to get into an, for an ultrasound, so just wait and see what happens tomorrow, and hopefully I can have everything edited by the afternoon. Hopefully it looks all good. I think I've done a really good job and I just, <laughs> I just really wanted to go well because I was really excited about working with this brand. I just feel like it's been honestly the most organic brand opportunity that I've received so far. And I just, I really want them to like, like my content. Hopefully it goes well because if it does, then maybe they might want to reach out and work with me again. Who knows? Fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, doesn't look like I'm going to get another run in tonight, so I'm just going to pack it in and go home. I will catch up with you guys and let you guys know how I go with everything at the doctor's.